what is mind mapping and how to get started immediately. This is a mind map, okay? A mind map is a graphical way to represent ideas and concepts. It is a visual thinking tool that helps structuring information, helping you to better analyze, comprehend, synthesize, recall, and generate new ideas. Just as in every great idea, its power lies in its simplicity. And, and really, that's what it is. Okay, so the fact of the matter is, is that keep it simple. That's the keep it simple program, okay? Uh, which is my program, which means absolutely nothing. A mind map, as opposed to a traditional note-taking or a linear text information, is structured in a way that resembles much more closely how your brain actually works. So we look at images, and that's how we know how to do it. You look at your hand, we know it's a hand, because our brain had, has associated our hand with this. So if you're doing a country, uh, and you have all of these different elements, then you're, you put your country in the middle, and then have all the elements like coming out of it. Now, you're going to be doing one domestic and international. So you're going to actually have to, you could, well, I'm not going to show you how to do it, but you're going to have to use some creativity to show both. It is an activity that is both analytic, meaning you analyze it, you look at it deeply, and artistic. If you're not artistic, that's why it's good to use the program. It engages your brain in as much much richer way, helping in all its cognitive functions. So how does a mind map look like? Better than explaining is showing you an example. These are all little examples, but I'll show you the one that uh, is in your class. So there you go. There's your mind map. And you have all of these different symbols and things that, you know, reflect all of the information that you have uh, come up with. We're gonna show a quick video at the end of this, so don't freak out yet. So this is a mind map about convenient, uh, that about conveniently enough mind mapping itself, okay? It presents in a visual way the core elements and techniques on how to draw mind maps. Once you break the ingrained habit of linear note-taking, that's like writing out long sentences, you don't look back. Let's go back and take a look at that. Um, so this is a mind map. Look at the middle. There's a mind, and there are words, and images, and colors, and structures, and paper, and lines. Okay, now, in a minute, I'm going to show you where all of that comes from. Remember, this is about mind mapping. I'm going to show you exactly how this is done. Remember those color, images, words, lines, paper, and in the middle are maps. So this is based on mind mapping. Okay, so benefits and uses. Mind mapping avoids dull linear, which is just like what we read a book, jogging your creativity and making note taking fun again. Okay, so we're now gonna have some fun by drawing. Okay, mind maps can be used for note taking, brainstorming, okay, um, individual or in groups, problem solving, studying and memorization, planning, research, and consolidating information from multiple sources, and researching, presenting, gaining insight, and jogging your creativity. So how do you jog your creativity? Say your instructor is talking about a boat in the ocean, okay? So if you were doing a mind map, what image would you use? Go ahead, tell me. What image would you use if you were using a mind map? Can you tell me? What would you use? An ocean? Would you use a boat? Okay. 
just type it in the in the thing. A boat, absolutely. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try another one because this is really good. Uh, I'm going to give you a sentence, and um, you know, I was driving to the market. Okay, using a mind map, what images do you see? Give me one word. Driving to the market. Maybe a car. Yeah. And some groceries. Or uh, uh, how about a little building that says market? Okay. So far, let's try one more. I'm going to fly to Morocco. Plane. That's it. And then on the other side, you put the word Morocco. Very cool. Let's watch the video on a mind mapping. So how do we draw a mind map? Start in the middle of a page, a blank page, writing or drawing the idea you intend to develop. I suggest that you use the page in a landscape orientation, that's the long way, and develop the related subtopics around this central topic, connecting each of them to the center with a line, and then repeat the same process for the subtopics generating lower level subtopics, that's little branches, as you see fit, connecting each of those to the corresponding subtopic. Let me show you what I did. Okay, so this is my mind map for myself. 
And you could see up here is my best friend, Les, up in the right. I love to travel. I went to college. I got an MBA, and I became an instructor. Um, I have a great daughter. I've been teaching online for nine years, and I had 23 years at Universal Pictures. And in the middle is me. That's my mind map. So some recommendations. Use colors, drawings, and symbols copiously. Keep the topic uh, labels as short as possible, keeping them to a single word, or better yet, to only a picture, and vary text size, color, and alignment. Mind mapping is an absolutely fascinating and rich topic. The, this post only scratches the surface. So if you want more information, more reference material, go to Wikipedia. Also, you can go online to Google, and you can also go to YouTube. It's always a good place to start. I want to thank you so much for sitting through my first lecture. And if you have any questions, please contact me through course messages. I wish you a wonderful week and thank you for being in this class.